Hey, 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 Mabuhay from Philippines. It's me again, Remedy Official Blogs or aka Remedy Music. And uh, something got me started again in filming a YouTube uh, video channel, a review for you guys. And do you want to know what woke me up in my slumber, from my slumber? Well, what we have here is uh, I am from Soft Ears, the Studio 4. Now, let's make this quick and now let's start with some simple unboxing. Moving on, so here's the box of uh, Studio 4. Well, for its price point at roughly around $400 or like $450, the packaging is quite simple. We have the Pelican case here, which is very, very sturdy and really professional feel to it uh, it can even compete with the big boys like Shure, ADV, Audio Technica you, you name it we have a cable extension for musicians it's like a uh, two meters and we need those for our uh, on stage performances or studio works we have some ear tips only one kind though unfortunately and we have a cleaning cloth and we have a cleaning tool one musician necessity again like a 3.5 to 6.5 millimeter adapter jack to connect with our instruments wristband and of course the IAM themselves the studio for moving on let's check how this baby sounds to my ear start with some technicalities sound stage okay sound stage is not particularly wide with the studio for but I think the soft ears have this in mind you see as a musician it doesn't really help me if things are a little bit far away especially when I'm dissecting or breaking down songs for my band as a cover band, cover band we try to replicate songs as faithfully as they are in the recording and having an extra sound stage is quite uh, very hard or implies an extra effort for us to fetch those parts especially me as a musician or as a keyboard player a lot of elements fall to my part like um, strings brass sections organs roads uh, what else uh, bells uh, kalimbas and many other things so uh, the soundstage of uh, studio 4 is just the right amount for musicians like me to make our life easier to fetch or to dissect those elements that needed to be heard on to the timbre the timbre of studio 4 is quite very very natural and uh, uh, being a pure balance armature configuration I didn't sense or it never sounded artificial or unnatural it has a uh, good uh, realistic sounds that never come across a natural thin or what we call BA timbre. Speed of the drivers are very very commendable and uh, the attack and decay are very realistic unlike some planner drivers or planner configurated IMs. Get to the crowning glory of Studio Force technical aspect and that is layering and separation. Instruments are very clean, well separated, and layered precisely with good um, space between elements. And it made my life much easier, uh, especially uh, work-related uh, duties, like, as I've said a while ago, breaking down songs. Uh, let's see. Mm. It is very, very uh, constructive for analyzing 
music and also it will come very handy for producers uh, mixing and uh, referencing sound finally imaging is very very accurate and following instruments are never a chore um, the ever-changing panning of instruments are very very easy to follow and very very easy to discern now according to the graph here somewhere here <laughs> we have a slight bump in the sub bass region which results in a good rumble but disperse quickly resulting in a very clean presentation of bass bass is very neutral but still maintained a very engaging factor that uh, will not leave you listening to a very dry sound presentation my acoustic bass on my favorite jazz tracks gives a very good extension on the sub bass and uh, on electric guitars particularly uh, I mean electric bass guitars especially with the likes of Stevie Wonder, Bobby Caldwell, Toto the mid bass are very textured and uh, good detail and the name of the game is all about punchiness and uh, tightness now moving on to mid-range well now that we that the bass is not very pronounced the mid-range are allowed to shine though I cannot say that they are very lush or rich sounding but they have the very good amount of weight and density to produce very realistic sound my favorite instruments like pianos uh, roads organs all sounded very realistic snappy and with good clar clarity vocals on the other hand have a leaning to female vocals because the upper mids have a slight bump also according to the graph and uh, but never sounded shouty or piercing now moving on to treble um the treble inherits the genes of the mid-range very smooth and uh very a little bit laid back if you know what i mean which uh gives an overall warmth to the sound signature S i sometimes crave for more actually when it comes to cymbals and hi-hats uh, I miss my my grit and my bite but this will benefit sensitive folks and uh, listening to Studio 4 will never give a fatiguing experience now I think that uh, Studio 4 I mean soft ears have uh, decided to be on the safe side of treble because using stage monitors or IEMs for stage monitoring can sometimes be ear fatiguing we are not listening to well mastered tracks instead we rely on how the tech guy behind the mixing console mixes our sound so sometimes if maybe your guitarist player has a preference for bright overdrive or distortions and hearing those um not or raw guitars that your guitarist prefers well can be piercing to your ears so i think uh soft ears had this in mind and they played a little bit safe on the trebles here now i have some comparisons with some of my favorite iems and i will put the link down below for my written review which is more detailed and in depth because I don't want to take much of your time and don't be lazy chap have a read on now after spending a week or even more than a week with the studio 4 I can safely conclude that it is not just for musicians like me or sound engineers or artists or even producers but also for audiophiles as well that prefers a warm signature a very natural timbre clean and precise sound 
and a more matured tuned I am and when I say matured I mean almost dead flat or neutral flat though the studio 4 is really not up to like etymotic uh, sound signature but it it is a redefined neutrality to my ears I have my Kinera Eden Golden which also one of my benchmark for neutrality and that set is a little bit brighter than this which actually I have in my ears right now and um, you'll find the comparison in my written review so that's it for now I hope that this review helped you give an idea how the Studio 4 sounded by the way if you want to have a good start with the uh, stage monitoring IEMs, I think the Kinera Eden Golden is a great start. But if you are willing to invest more for your uh, duties, as, uh, especially as a musician or if you're an artist, a singer, a vocalist, sound producer, a mixing engineer, then investing something more for this price point well, actually, it's worth every penny. It's a very good IEM for those purposes and even for audiophiles that prefers a more neutral flat sound signature. So until the next time, I hope that you enjoyed the review. I'm, I'm trying to cut short, really. And uh, for a more in-depth review, again, I'll put the link down below and catch you on the next one. Remember, enjoy the music more than the gears. Cheers!